Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let's travel with day and night. Today, we are taking you to the fascinating world of reptiles. We started with handling a water python. Her name is Onion. Yes, it's a pretty interesting name. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Let's walk around and meet some of our reptile friends. Get on. Now, here comes the most interesting session, the snake feeding. This is Courtney. She is a carpet python. She is going to get a rat for the meal. Generally in Australian zoos, dead animals are used for feeding. Courtney got the head of the rat in a split second and wrapped around it. She will stay like this up to 30 minutes until she doesn't feel any heartbeat. Now she has started to swallow the prey. We got a chance to handle another python today. She is Aurelia. are shedded skins of snakes. Usually snakes shed their skin for repair and regrow.
Claire Monday. And okay, Claire Monday, as you can see, very, very aggressive leaders. But the good times won't last forever. Okay? Obviously, when they're feeding like this, you want to get into the get, get where that dog is coming from, get your line to the water. If you're going to go for anything, they're in a bit of a feeding frenzy, but it won't last forever, like I said. Okay, after a while, they're just going to get full, and um, they'll actually stop feeding them. Meaning that they just turn from being one of the most aggressive feeding fish to probably one of the laziest ones. Okay, if you catch barramundi between 55 and 90 centimetres, you do. Take it home, put it on the barbecue, I recommend garlic and lemon juice. Lovely. However, if you catch one that is over that size, okay, we have to throw it back because that's going to be a big greeny lima. Let me explain to you how this works. Very Monday, when they're born, they're all born male. Every single very Monday is born male. Now, very Monday can live just as easily in salt water as they can in fresh water, they don't mind. However, they do need to have salt water to breathe. They can't breathe in fresh water. Now, I'll tell you how this works. Very Monday, when it's time for them to go breeding, they like salmon. They'll head out to the salt water. They'll head out back to where they were born. The difference is salmon go upstream, barrel money go out to the ocean. And when they go out to the ocean, they'll start swimming, 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 swimming down, 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 down the river. They'll start to hit that salt water. When they hit that salt water, a chemical reaction is triggered in their body. And they will actually make a change from transformation from male to female. So we've got other fish are chasing around us too, so it's a bit nervous sometimes. Here you go, mate. A big Saratoga to chase the dirt. Ready? And boom, here we go. Got it. enjoyed our video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when a new video is released also please like comment and share with your friends bye for now see you again in another video